Hello, my name is Alex. I like to draw, and so today I figured I'll draw something different. I usually draw people, so uh, we'll see if I can draw a Terminator. So, yeah, I mean, like like most people, I've been trying to draw for a long time. I don't. It's more competitive than than ever, I'd say, with um with everything, you know um you know like with, you know, with the internet and I don't know with the uh, video game industry and movie industry like it's, it's crazy, you know things are really com competitive. I, I I would be shocked if I ever got any sort of advanced doing whatever. You know, but yeah. Anyway, I, I've been trying a long time I'm trying to get better still. So I don't know. Make it do happen. But at the very least, I'm just I'm going to show where I'm at. I'm going to try and be entertaining with this. You know. All right. So you know, like the, like like Terminator. Me kind of has this skull-like look. Obviously, it's based on the skull because the humanoid-looking Terminator is trying to pretend to be a human. So that's what kind of where I'm going with this. A little bit like something like that. You know, this whole YouTube stuff, I'm scared to say the word Terminator with copyright claims. It's like really ridiculous. I mean, you know, like if you think about, for example, you know, in, in the US, in America, they have uh, freedom of the press, which means like you can talk about or reference copyrighted stuff and you don't owe them any money or anything. They can't claim like copyright, so you can't do that because it falls under freedom of the press. So if you, you, can, give your, uh, you can give your opinion, you know, because how can you give your opinion about something and talk about something? You know, for example, if you were reviewing a book or a, a newspaper article or a movie or whatever, you know, like play, you might have to make quotes from the play or whatever to be like, all right, this is stupid, I don't like this. But how would you do that if like, Copyright free, you like from doing anything, from getting any sort of opinion. So that's like sort of what YouTube is doing, under my opinion. It's like, you know, like when you play like a four second soundbite, oh, you know what? We're taking, we're kind of making money off of you and pull, pull the rug up from under you. It's a bit ridiculous. But, you know, that's the world we live in. Otherwise, I, otherwise, I would probably play the Terminator theme in the background here. Yeah, you know, I've tried that, you know, past few episodes. I was like, oh, copyright claim. So I, I, I try to find ways around it, try to find like music that where it's like just a melody, like a different version of it. It's like, no, it's still a copyright claim. So I'm like, all right. Whatever. Okay, so in that case, no, I'm not drawing Terminator, I'm drawing a robot. Okay, so this is my robot. My slave robot, you know, you know, I'm waiting for my robot butler, you know. And at this uh, day and age, I'm still waiting for my slave robot, where it's like, alright, I don't want to do anything. So, like, you know, who can, who can, uh, go to the refrigerator for me and just get a, uh, you know, make me make me a sandwich or something. Slave robot. Someone in the comments might say, "Oh, you know, what robots have feelings too." You know, can't be doing that. You know. I mean, look at the movie, uh, The Matrix. You know, in The Matrix. You know, they or the Animatrix. They show that robots have feelings, and it lets you out of mice. You know. Yeah, you know, like having robots wipe out human beings is, hasn't ever been done before, right? Or like aliens. You know, that's a totally, that's a totally original idea, right? You know. This looks weird, like, I don't know, I guess let's go back more or something. I don't know, something like that. Okay, let's work on the jawbone. The jawbone connects to the skull bone. Skull bone, man. It's a fat looking Terminator. I don't mean good, like, hey, that's fat. I mean, this Terminator looks like fat, like, you need, you need to lose some pounds. I'm not gonna do this. Terminated. Copyright clean. I don't know. I don't know if they went out there to play the Terminator 2 Judgment Day arcade game. They just had it on the uh, Sega Genesis, and then when I saw it in the arcade, I'm like, this is completely different than the Sega Genesis version. Sega version's like not good, not to me anyway. Like I don't like that. It's really annoying. I mean, it's so cool in the arcade. It used to be anyway. You know, people might be jaded. You know, like by this day and age, you know, about whatever video games or special effects or whatever. But yeah, I believe the Terminator has this like, weird thing, weird indentation. The top, I'm not really sure why. I, I believe no idea why, you know. It looks cool, I guess. I don't know. It's weird thing. It's got all these, you know, markings or ports. He's got this port on the top where he's got that chip in it, right? Get the CPU. If you play your game, shoot in the head, the CPU comes out. Yeah, I know. I'm a nerd. And so that's where the CPU port is. Whatever. I was like, simplify this. Okay, so this is some sort of wire or whatever. Uh, Java has like a bunch of junk and stuff. So. So let's make that the terminal robot, alright, so collarbone, collarbone is going to be mechanical, right? So it's going to have like a bunch of round junk. I don't know, you remember that? It's going to have like a lot of cylindrical, cylindrical. Oh no, wait, this is not the collarbone, whatever, whatever this bone is, deltoid, try it, deltoid, no, it's definitely not the deltoid, the um, like the spatula shape thing. I don't know, no, that's a bad thing, I don't, I don't know what the hell this is. Some, some sort of neck. 
okay, so that's his back. Okay, so now the front of this is gonna have some bolts or something like like this, right? And this is gonna be like we're going to something something like that or something. Watch the next one.